Welcome everybody to my future Let's Play once I finish one of my four LPs by all of these companies. Big Fish Games, Puzzle Quest, Challenge of the Warlords. This is a game that is similar to games like uh, Puzzle Quest and Blizzard, uh, not Blizzard, Bejeweled. Uh, Obviously, it's a Puzzle Quest game, but it's Puzzle Quest mixed with uh, an RPG element. And what I want you to do is help me out uh, in creating a new character. I'm going to show you the four professions and the four portraits for each of those. And then I want to show you a little bit of gameplay with a, uh, a character I just randomly chose to show off the game's... Um, game's fighting mechanic, but there's also a story that is going to be involved with the playthrough that I do, not just battles. Um, first profession here is the Druid. Druids are well-schooled in the magic of nature and many spells based on yellow and green magic. They defeat their foes in a subtle manner and often doing such things as entangling them or changing the gems on the board. And uh, this is one of the male portraits. Uh, brown-haired female, a blonde-haired male, and a green-haired female. And those are the four druids. And the knight is a noble and chivalrous warrior who excels in using the stars on the board to great effect, such as gaining extra experience or healing themselves. They also have a good stock of damage spells based on red and green mana. Uh, this is the blonde male, blonde female, uh, blue-haired male, and a white-haired female. Uh, the warrior. Warriors are fierce, efficient fighters whose special attacks mostly deal direct damage to their foes. Also, many of their damage spells are based on red mana. Or, although, they're based on red mana. They have a wide variety of them for using in different situations. Here's the blue-haired male, uh, red-haired female. Um, who kind of reminds me of the girl from uh, Chrono Cross. Cat, I think was her name, or kid, or something like that. A red-haired male and a brown-haired female. A wizard uh, keeps a good mix of different spells based largely on red and yellow mana. Uh, they just as easily cast damage spells like fireball, and they can cast powerful defensive spells like wall of fire. Brown-haired male, blonde female, uh, light. Long, a dirty blonde male and a green haired female. Uh, it also creates random character names as you scroll through them here. Uh, I may choose one of those, but what I want you to do is help me pick a profession and a portrait to go with that profession. And you can suggest a name if you want. Um, and if I like it, I'll choose that name. Otherwise, I might use a random name or pick my own name for the character. So those are the four characters and I already clicked a random character just to show you what the fighting mechanic is like in this game. This is the easiest enemy right here. Scale opponent to my level, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> this gives you a little description of the character. There's, there's also giant rats and skeletons and things but I'm just gonna fight the easiest or the lowest down creature here. Here we have the, the fighting board, the the a person with the highest speed uh, starts the battle off. Um, I think cunning is speed, and that character has a cunning of two, I have a cunning of one. So, um, the mechanics here, these skulls on the board, when you match three of them, or four, or five, or however many, skulls do direct damage, here's the hit points, here's my hit points. Uh, these are the magic. Uh, yellow and blue is what's required for that. This is the mana pool, his experience and uh, and gold. My level and character, name, uh, portrait, everything. This is armor you wear. Uh, you can have a maximum of six spells at one time. These are web, uh, magic resistances. Um, this thing also has a, uh, a hint cursor. I may or may not turn that on. You can let me know. Uh, but anyways, skulls. They do direct damage. These little uh, purple stars, 
When you match those, they give you experience points. Obviously, when you get enough experience points, you'll level up. Um, match these and you get gold. You match the blue ones and you get blue mana. Uh, and this spell right here uses blue and yellow mana. Match yellow, green, blah, blah, blah. That's, and these things right here, you match them with uh, the colors and it multiplies the amount of them you get. So if I was to put this in, in right here, which I can't, uh, that would give me, uh, I think, uh, 12 red instead of 3. But you can you can see all that once the game's in action. So since I have a first attack here, I'm going to go ahead and match the skulls and see his damage went down. And he has a large pool because there was a giant combo at the beginning. Um, so what I want to try to do, since the only magic I have right now is a basically a healing magic. Uh, it does plus 5 to life, plus 1 for every 4 blue. Uh, I, I think that's 4 blue in reserve right here, not on the board. Um, so I don't really need heal right now, so what I'm going to do is just try to match skulls whenever possible, and when I see blue or yellow, I'll match those up to get some of the mana reserves. Also, when you match four of a gem, you get an extra turn. Also, uh, if you have a high cunning or morale, something, uh, um, one of the traits there, it will give you uh, a chance for extra turns even if you don't match four and if you match five you get one of those times something wild cards so uh, see here's a four of a kind match right here so that'll give me an extra turn here's another four of a kind with the red and I'm sure to miss some of these four of a kinds every once in a while so you can just point in the screen and yell at me if you want to it's fine Let's get some get some blue going here. So I can show off some magic since he is doing damage to me. Uh, see, I have five and I need six. I have five and I need four. So all I need to do is one more three of a kind blue, which there aren't any on the board. Also, one thing that'll happen if there's no more matches on the board, all of the pieces will disappear. They'll drop off the board, and both of our mana reserves will be depleted. So, it's normally not good for either of us. Uh, one thing you should try to do is prevent the other person from being able to build up their mana reserves. Uh, <clears throat> or do damage to you. Also, here's what his spell does. Adds 100% to damage. Lasts until you receive damage. He has 17 gold, 11 experience. No magic resistances and... I've showed you all of his stats. So I'll go ahead and match that. See, here's a blue. Uh, see, I can match blue here or I can match uh, skulls. I would rather match skulls so he can't attack me on his next turn. And so he took the blue. But then there's another blue, so that works out for me. So some spells you can use and then still get a turn. This spell. Once you use it, it skips to his turn, so I'm going to wait until I don't see any moves worth taking and use it, which would be now. So if you see my hit points here, I have 26. If I use this, it says 5 to life plus 1 for every 4 blue mana. So I'm going to assume that, assume that will give me 7. And that gave me, what's 4? Yeah, 7. It gave me 7. So that's that's what it does. It's it's plus five to your mana reserve uh, based on your mana reserve. Plus five plus one for every four in your mana reserve. That's what I was trying to say. Um, obviously, experience is how you level up. You get certain amounts of experience and gold and things like that after battle, depending on how good you do against your opponent. And also, uh, there are random battles, random encounters in this game. Um, I probably won't be showing those because of the length of the battles in this game. I will probably just be showing the story and battles against uh, uh, plot-progressing enemies. I'll show random encounters with enemies I haven't encountered before. Um. <clears throat> 
See, I have no good moves here, so let's heal up a little bit more. I've never used the Druid before. He's a new one on me. Also, I'll probably be turning down the music volume. Oh, okay, I defeated him. So, here's my score. That's where I got for uh, the win. For Also, for my stats, I gained this too, I think. And based on my cunning skill, it gives me extra stuff. And you've gained a level. And this is what the level up screen looks like. And I haven't... I haven't... Uh, done this in this game yet, so it's giving me a little explanation here, gaining a level, blah blah blah. Four points to spend, it's kind of like Diablo or other games like that. Um, you can look at what all of these things do. And just pause the screen on it to see what it does. Basically, um, it adds to your green pool, adds to your red pool, yellow pool, blue pool. This is uh, increases your damage and increases your uh, uh, what pile cards and experience and uh, gold do. Uh, and this increases the uh, effect of the purple stars. And spell resistance and things like that. This is how many points it costs to upgrade that thing. And it goes up every time you increase the things. I think. Or it may be preset based on your character. You may tell me that there. But um, Also, yeah, I can't do it in there. Inventory. If you go... Yeah, shut up, lady. Okay. If you go into spells here, you can take up to six spells in the... Uh, yeah, that all, it's going to explain all that again when I create a new character. So, anyways... Uh, that's the first spell I had, and because I reached level 2, I also get this spell here, which uh, adds 5 to your mana and your turn doesn't end. See, this spell right here, your turn ends, and this spell, your turn doesn't end. So all this does is takes mana from your other three pools and adds to your yellow pool, which is good, because you can see that this character uses a lot of yellow mana in later, later spells, and also there's a lot of spells in the game. So you can see that's a pretty long game. Anyways, uh, magic items, spells, companions, you can read all this stuff yourself if you want, captives, mounts, there's all kinds of stuff in this game. Your kingdom, you can capture cities, uh, rumors, those are quests basically, or lead to quests, victories, how many battles you've fought, awards, uh, yeah, whatever. So, that's a little bit of the mechanics of the game, and obviously the battles. They take a little while. Uh, it looks like it took me about 10 minutes for that battle, but depending on the character I pick and the enemy I'm fighting against and my level and their level, um, the battle's length ranges greatly. Um, you can also set a time limit for the battles in the instant thing, but we'll be doing the quest. On a difficulty level, I have it set to, uh, to normal. I'm going to keep it on normal. So I'm going to be deleting this hero and starting a new one once I play the game. So let me know what you think. Uh, battles, what you think about them, character you'd like me to pick, and uh, names you think you'd like for the character to have, and the portrait. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of this game, just comment and like and let me know. Bye.